In the previous three lectures we discussed three types of anticoagulant drugs, activators of antithrombin-3, vitamin K antagonists and the direct thrombin inhibitors. So today we'll discuss the last type, the selective factor 10A inhibitors. This category of drugs include, the parent oral agent, Thondiparinux, and oral agents, Rivaroxaban and Apixaban. We already discussed Fondaparinux and activators of antithrombin 3 lecture, but let's summarize it again. Fondaparinux is a synthetic pentasaccharide, that selectively inhibits factor 10A, by selectively binding to antithrombin 3. So it potentiates the neutralization of factor 10A, by antithrombin 3, by about 300 to 1000 volts. It is approved for use in the treatment of deep venous thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, and for the prophylaxis of venous thromboembolism. Fondaparinux is eliminated unchanged in urine, so it is contraindicated in patients with severe renal impairment. Like the other anticoagulant drugs, bleeding is the major side effect. And there is no antidote available to counteract bleeding disorders, associated with overdosing. Let's now talk about the other two drugs, rivaroxaban and apixaban. Both agents are, oral inhibitors of factor 10A. They bind to the active site of factor 10A, so prevent its ability to convert prothrombin to thrombin. Rivaroxaban is approved for treatment and prevention of deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, and for the prevention of stroke and non-valvular atrial fibrillation. Apixaban is used for stroke prevention and non-valvular atrial fibrillation. And again, the major adverse effect, like other anticoagulants is bleeding. And no antidote available to reverse bleeding caused by these agents. These agents are renally eliminated, so they shouldn't be used in severe renal dysfunction. And finally, they shouldn't be suddenly stopped. That's all for this video. Now we finished talking about the antiplatelet and anticoagulant drugs. So in the next lecture we'll talk about the thrombolytic drugs. So subscribe and wait for the next video.